all for showing up today, that is. So nice. I love your faces. They're intelligent, poetic faces with compassion and verve and everything that goes with being a poet. So I'm going to read, and actually basically each person can read up to three poems, and if you want to stop at one or two, that's up to you, but I've got the two hours here, so if you want to read three, we can all do it. My first one is about New Westminster. I thought it was fitting to do a New Westminster poem called City of Dreams. The pale gray sky splashed with feathers, flowing wisps and loosened tethers on the charcoal tapestry hanging above. A chandelier of stars, sprinkling love, peeking through the eye of midnight. This is New Westminster tonight. White specks glowing amidst the amber shine, sparkling diamonds on the evening skyline. The jeweled fingers of night, prancing, romancing, reflecting, cooling, shadow dancing with the shimmering Fraser River moonlight. This is New Westminster tonight. Inherent Mood music written and pinned on this gentle September evening wind, unwinding, unspooling its magical weave, dreams falling soft from an angel's sleeve. In the shape of a wish, long forgotten now, the residue of a sacrosanct vow, reminiscent of a smooth satin feeling, resembling enchantment that sets the heart reeling, the ambient glow soft candlelight. This is New Westminster tonight. A touch of glory, magic in the air, a drifting of memories everywhere. A footprint on life's water, a ripple on the earth, a whisper on the wind, a diamond of great worth. Indestructible, dressed in a necklace of pearl moonlight. This is New Westminster every night. This is the city of dreams. This tree has always been Through the ages She has seen initials carved into her bark Lovers languished in embrace Sometimes tears on love's face Every imprint left its mark In warm embrace or angst of pain Shade in sunlight, roof in rain this tree has always been in seasonal changing shades of green, nature's fashion show in the park. Hide and seek, young children playing beneath her branches, watchful, swaying. Home to robin, wren, and lark, stretching tall to reach the skies, dreaming to the lover's sighs. This tree has always been whispering soft to the wind unseen, caressed by raindrops and moon glow, kissed by the petals of tulips and frosty summer mint juleps, blanketed with fresh flakes of snow as the seasons whirl and spin like a snake shedding its skin. This tree has always been winter stark and summer sheen, dancing through each season's arms, dressing up in shiny new leaves, watching them wither, dropping from her sleeves, falling prey to autumn's charms. This tree has always been stately, lofty, and serene, and oh, the sights she's seen. Thank you very much, and thank you all for being involved and participating in this book.